Welcome back to the channel, everybody, uh, on this beautiful Sunday night. Uh, here it's uh, actually Monday morning. It's the 2nd of August, 20, and it's uh, 12, uh, 2021. It's uh, actually 12.15. Oof. Anyway, I had a late night. Things happen sometimes. Anyway, today I want to talk to you about um, lightweight insulation, um, or what we called in the Army um, poncho liners. The poncho liner was developed for the U.S. military um, so they could take it, use it individually, or with a poncho. You can actually attach it inside a poncho and use it as like a tropical sleeping bag. Um, I used one primarily to sleep in for 10 years while I was in the Army, and my dad gave me his. And this sucker, um, I don't remember what year it was made in. I have to look. This is it right here. As you can see, it's... Uh, it's a it's the old Vietnam era camouflage. I don't know what year it was made in. I got the the tag is right here, but it is faded. Um, I can't really tell what year it was made, but it's an old one, and I use this one right here along with the woodland poncho that I was issued uh, during those ten years. It depends on you know when I'd use it. this one here was a little bit thinner, a little bit less insulated than my woodland one. So I, what I did first, I took the wooden one, and, and I remember using it the first time when I arrived at my first unit at Fort Lewis, and it was so stiff, you know, it was, so I had to launder it. I washed it and uh, in cold water, and after that, it started loosening up a bit, and it started, uh, um, um, it sort of protected. It was easier to fold and stuff. I know I've never rolled it up. I just stuffed it into a waterproof bag and use it like that. Now the reason why we used it primarily is because you weren't sleeping that much when you were in the field. And between this or your poncho, whatever clothing you had, and your um, your three quarter, because we cut down our our sleeping mats, um, that's what you used. Okay, uh, you throw your sleeping mat on the ground and you just lay on top of it behind your rucksack and put your poncho poncho on you and if you had your your if it was raining you'd throw your 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 tarp up your poncho up and you have your poncho liner and it's what you slept with this is almost transparent in some ways it's quite old the camouflage has gotten old but i used it i still use it sometimes but i don't use it as much as i used to because i want to preserve it a bit and hold on to it and keep it it's a really good keepsake keepsake actually and this is very soft and it's very you know you can really stuff it into something but this is the old Vietnam version. And I no longer have my woodland camouflage one because, by the way, these things make really great ground covers when you go to the beach. And because and I had a bunch of them. I had I'd, I'd ordered my, I had my woodland one, and uh, we used to use that for the beach when I was married and with the kids. And then I had an all drab one that I'd picked up, an aftermarket a brand. You know, I don't know if it was Rothko or Lentico or something like that. They had produced them. And so I had that one also, and and when I I was lucky to keep this one right here because the ex-wife uh, kept all the other ones. And I don't know where they're at now, but I wish I still had my old woodland one because it was the one I brought back from the army with me. And um, I'd like to get it back. I gotta see if my I gotta talk to my daughter. Maybe she can find it for me. But anyway, this here is a, it's a great piece of kit, and it's a poncho. And if you look at poncho liner, now there are some people that call them whoobies. Uh most mostly Cav Scouts and Pogues, but anyway, along it you have your you have some some string, some laces here, and you and these are bar tacks, double bar tacks actually, very well put together, very well made. It's a quilted so that your insulation doesn't move around too much. Well, like I said, so here doesn't feel very insulated anymore, but it it still works. But it's very lightweight. I used this one right here though a couple of years ago. Well, no, no, I didn't. Yeah, I use it. I used to use it camping still, um, or just around the house. Just to put it on you if it was cold at night on the, in the winter, and it worked very well. But I don't use it so much anymore. This is one I sort of keep, I put aside, and that kind of stuff. But anyway, over the years, I went out, and I um, found a company that was making them, and um, I bought one from them, and that's Kifaru. And Kifaru makes, just Kifaru, and they make a poncho liner, um, and I think they call it a wooby, actually. <laughs> But um, they're out of Colorado, and they're Kifaru, uh, Point Net, and it's U.S. made. And these are here are not cheap. I remember we'd pay $25 for the American ones, issued ones. And if you're going to use one, you can probably pay 5 or 10 bucks for them. 
Uh, this right here is 128 bucks or 130 bucks like that. Even today, they're quite. It may be more expensive, but these are insulated, really well insulated. This this bag is actually attached to the the poncho liner itself. Pull the poncho liner out. I find it a little bit a uh, little bit larger, maybe, um, and but it's it's not quilted. The material's in it, and it doesn't move. Um, it really is sewn into the sides. The stitching is really well done. You have loops on it, so uh, and um, along along the way they put loops in it, so you can uh, put it inside. I mean, you can attach them together. There's no zipper on it. And a lot of people do ha have had zip added zippers to them and made them to like little sleeping bags. I never did that. I never did it for two reasons. Number one, I don't like, it's a little bit extra weight. And uh, I think it costs as much as the, as the bag itself, as the poncho liner itself did just to have it done at the cab store back then. But anyway, this is a double side color. It's a forest green on one side and a and this uh, gray on the other side. And it is a well-made, very well-made ripstop. Feels like it feels like the parachute material is really well made, and uh, this sucker is nice and warm. Now, I've used this right here on summer hikes and spring hikes in the mountain, and um, it's done me well, actually. Um, it's not as warm as a, as, a, as a sleeping bag, but it's actually quite warm, actually. And uh, I just got on, when I did my 10-day hike, I actually several times uh, just slept on top of my um, my sleeping bag and just used this right here as a cover over me, so it kept me nice and, and warm and protected it's really well made i don't know what the material is i have to look on, online um, i do have some repairs done to it there was a hole that got put into it i don't know from a fire or something like that or i think maybe it, it ripped or something like that um but i went to a local seamstress and she did a really good patch is quite you can see the patch but the material is it's very similar and she did a really good job on it and yeah she's sewn it all the way through but it's a really good heavy stitch and it's 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 serving me well still. I'm still using it all the time, and I like it a lot. Now, recently, I ordered one from a company um, in the United States. I paid sixty five dollars, I think, for it. But what I liked about it is that it's the old World War II camouflage, the duck hunter camouflage, and it's reversible. It has the has the the desert and and the, and, the, and the tropical, I guess, or the green. And I think it's um, it's basically the, the same as your regular poncho. Now, it, it, it's not as well made as the old uh, Army poncho, poncho liners are. Um, it doesn't have their reinforcement like they do. Um, it's got a regular seam, tape seam on it. It's got the strings on, but they're all, in, they're all from within the side, and they're tape. They're, not, they're only sewn just reinforced with a stitch here on, on along the way. So it's not as good quality, I would say, as the, uh, and I haven't really used it as I had it here in the house. I just got it recently, this couple of days. But I'm trying to find, what I do like about it, I guess I would make a good beach, to lay out the beach like that. But um, I like to cut, I like to cut camouflage. The company that made this right here, this is called the, here's the, the ticket on it right here. It's called the Raider Wooby. And this is made by a company, uh, this is uh, dedicated to, to the original Marine Raiders who had uh, hate deep, who had, who had, who laid deep behind enemy lines in the jungles of the South Pacific during World War II, formed 1942. The Raiders' battle dress consisted of the M1942 frogskin camel cor courage and determination. Their legacy is still continues to this day and has the Raider patch on it. And says, do not bleach, do not use near open flame, do not leave unattended with girlfriend or wife. <laughs> Seriously, it is so true. And you won't, because you won't get it back. And hand wash in souls hang dry. Hand wash in souls hang dry. But I'm trying to remember the company I got this from. Um, I have to look online real quick, if you don't mind waiting for a second. Um, I got this from... Gosh, why am I not finding this so easily? Um, I can't remember who I got. Oh, Zero Foxtrot. Uh, the company called Zero Foxtrot made this. They make a lot of different co colors. I mean, I could have all their colors. I like their, they have they have all the multicam colors. They have night camo, this kind of stuff. This one here is the Marine. I, I like it a lot. I wasn't a Marine, but I do like the camouflage. And we'll see how it turns out. I don't think it's going to be maybe a, a one I'm taking out to the field with me, but it definitely will be one that I use around the house in the wintertime. 
instead of a itchy wool blanket, which I have a number of those, and they do a much better job keeping you warm. They're, they're nice and heavy, but they itch. Anyway, so these poncho liners, um, there are some companies that are making them that are copying the idea, the concept. I love them. I love them. I think it's a great, a great concept. And those of you who've used a poncho liner and lived under a poncho liner in the military or use them just right now, for me, I, I keep mine with me when I go as a day hike. I pull it out. It's lightweight. I, I have, uh, I, I, I can throw it on the ground, lay on it, take a nap, get under it a little bit if it's a little cool out. I use it uh, primarily like that uh, when I go on hikes. It's just a reinforced, just an extra piece of kit. It doesn't weigh very much. It's ounces. And uh, yeah, it does fill the bag up a little bit because especially the, the one that I've got from uh, Kifaru, excellent made model. Uh, I highly can, I can highly recommend the Kifaru uh, model. It's, it's really well made and uh, it's extremely warm. It's warmer than the other, the traditional poncho liners are. I would like to get my hand on an original modern day U.S. Army poncho liner in the, the new camouflage and the, uh, in the multi-cam camouflage. Haven't, I haven't had a chance to get one yet. Uh, I like to get one that's made for the military. Just um, need to make time to try to find one, I guess, and uh, and get one. I, if I, I live here in Europe, so it's not as easy, and I don't have access to any of the military posts. Although I have friends of mine who do, but I have to find somebody who who has who has that access and maybe get them to uh, get me one and um, and uh, send it to me here locally. That would be really good. I got to find somebody to do that. But anyway, listen, um, I. I like the poncho liners, and like I said, you can always stick it inside of a poncho. You can attach it to it and use it as a as a uh, to get under sleep sleep in it, you know. And um, and yeah, they're really good. They're re really good insulation. They're also making they make jackets out of them nowadays. Also, I've seen that and 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 uh, pullovers and anoraks. Um, I don't like that too much because um, I don't know. I just never have I never have liked that too much. Uh, I remember the old uh, field jacket liners we had. I used to wear one of those sometimes under my BDU jacket um, when I was in on desk before the uh, before we ever saw the uh, um, the polypropylene because we had these wool sweaters and those man those things were terrible. Now I'm, I remember when I had the Jack shirt that was quite a nice shirt but it was also very itchy you know and to wear it under your BDUs I mean it was really itchy. But uh, um, I do remember one time being so cold in Yakima that I took my poncho liner out and actually put it on under my, my BDU jacket and wrapped it around to stuff it in my pants uh, so I could stay warm because it was so cold and we were really, um, we were actually living out in the weather. So yeah, anyway, listen, I want to thank you for coming to the channel. And if you have any questions about the poncho liner, US military poncho liner, or if you have a really cool poncho liner, drop me a, drop me a, um, a DM or something like that or a message. Um, I have a face, I have a, an email. I think it's on my, my, uh, my channel i'm not sure but if it's not you can actually contact me um and and let me know and i'll send you my i'll send you my email privately you know uh but uh um uh, that way i don't have a bunch of crazy sending me bad messages although i think it's highly unlikely right now anyway <laughs> i don't have that many people following me but i, I hope that uh, you can share this channel and get the poncho liner out there and if you have any questions uh, any remarks any comments um you know, hit the like button Share this content with your friends and um, and let me know about your poncho liners. Anyway, and if you're a pogue, you can tell me about your, your whoobies. <laughs> Just joking, okay, guys? Not really. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you all have a good night and I look forward to hearing from you again very soon. And I'll see you again with the next video. Take care. Bye.